For almost 200 years, casino players have been captivated by the game of roulette. And for as long as that small white ball has circled that wheel, people have fantasized of devising a cunning way to beat the odds and win a fortune. This is the legendary story of Dr. Richard Jericke, who beat the odds, stumped casino owners around the world, and walked away with a fortune. Richard Jericke was born in Germany in 1931, but came to the US with his parents just before World War II, settling in New Jersey. He found he was gifted with a brilliant mind that could retain numbers and statistics. He used his talent to win money off his friends at card games. Even after he became a doctor, his passion was for casinos and in particular, the game of roulette. He became obsessed with it, convinced he could find a way to beat the odds. And in the early 1960s, he did. Jericke's scheme was ingenious and it required an extraordinary amount of research, but it was rooted in a simple observation. He noticed that at the end of each night, casinos would replace cards and dice with fresh sets, but the expensive roulette wheels went untouched and often stayed in service for decades before being replaced. Like any other machine, these wheels acquired wear and tear. Jericke began to suspect that tiny defects, chips, dents, scratches and unlevel surfaces might cause certain wheels to land on certain numbers more frequently than randomicity prescribed. In the mid-1960s, Jericke moved to Germany and took up a post at the University of Heidelberg to study electrophoresis and forensic medicine. Alongside the progress of his medical career, the switch to Europe also helped his roulette exploits. Because European roulette wheels have 37 slots rather than the 38 seen in American roulette wheels, the house edge was 2.7% instead of the 5.26%. And the ancient, long-established casinos there still employed vintage roulette wheels. Jericke and his crew scouted wheels at casinos across Europe, sometimes recording up to 20,000 spins in a month. After months of collecting data, he scrapped together $100 and hit the casino. He'd never gamble, and through his trusted research, he knew he was still up against the element of chance. However, in a matter of hours, he flipped his $100 into almost $5,000. And with this validation, in 1964, he made his first strike. After determining which wheels were biased, he obtained a £25,000 loan from a Swiss banker and spent six months meticulously planning his strategy. By the end of the run, he'd netted £625,000. Jericke's profits made headlines in newspapers all over the world, from Kansas to Australia. Everyone wanted a secret, but he knew that if he wanted to replicate the feat, he'd have to conceal his true methodology. At the time, Dr. Jericke told reporters that he had cracked roulette with the help of a powerful computer at the University of London, which told him which numbers to pick. Hiding behind this technological ruse, Jericke continued to keep tabs on biased tables and prepare for his next big move. Jericke, flush with riches, acquired a beautiful condominium near San Remo, a grandiose Italian casino on the Mediterranean coast. Through studious observations, he noticed a table that had the propensity of landing number 33 significantly more frequently than others, a consequence of the continuous contact of the balls against the wheel. On a spring night in 1968, he drove his white Rolls Royce to the gambling den and won almost $48,000 over three days. He returned eight months later, earning almost $190,000 in a single weekend and breaking the bank twice in one night at two different wheels. With the casino on the verge of going bankrupt, the owner had no choice but to ban Jericke for 15 days for being too good. Jericke returned after the ban was removed and won another $100,000, so much money that the casino had to offer him a promissory note. When Jericke appeared in a casino, big audiences gathered to watch the maestro at work. Many would follow in his footsteps, putting tiny wagers on the same numbers. Casino managers relocated his favorite roulette wheels in new locations every night in an attempt to outwit Jericke. That before we continue with this video, give me 20 seconds to let you know that for a limited time, one of Blub the Spot's coaches, Jimmy Durade, is giving away his guide on how to crush your opponents in 3-bet pots for free. If you are serious about your poker game and want to develop an unfair advantage over your opponents pre-flop and understand how pros really make their pre-flop decisions, I strongly recommend you check it out. The link is in the description. Professor, on the other hand, understood every vein in the wood, every nick, 
crack, scrape and discoloration and he always found them out. By 1969, he had become a menace to every casino in Europe. San Remo eventually gave up and replaced all 24 of its roulette wheels at a high cost to the casino. It was the only way to stop the finest player they'd ever seen, they admitted. Following Jerokey's domination, casinos invested considerably in inspecting their roulette tables for flaws and developing wheels that were far less prone to bias. Most wheels are now computerized with algorithms engineered to benefit the house. All told, Dr. Jerokey made a reported profit of $1.25 million, which is almost $8 million in today's money, placing hefty bets on biased roulette tables between 1964 and 1969. In 1973, Dr. Jerokey moved his family back to New Jersey, where he started a new career as a commodities broker. On occasion, casino owners would call him with partnership offers, but he never took the bait. He liked to make money from casinos, not to give it to them. In the early 1990s, Jerokey grew tired of Atlantic City and relocated to Manila, home to a flourishing gambling scene. He remained there until his death in 2018 at the age of 87. Tucked in the corner of a bustling gambling hall, surrounded by neon lights and slot machines, he wagered his final bet. The wheel spun round and round, like so many times before, the small white ball landed on his number. This video is powered by Bluff the Spot, the best place to learn how to win at poker from actual high-stake coaches like MMA Sherdog. Check the link in the description.